Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Oppo Find N. Now this phone is only available in China, but you can import it if you want. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price I paid for this one, 1,800 bucks. I repeat, 1,800 bucks. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. Now this one comes in three different colors. You got black, white, and purple. For the outer display, you got a 5.49 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 988 by 1972. For the main display, you got a 7.1 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1792 by 1920. Now that's 370 for the PPI Patrol. Now the outer display has a 60 hertz refresh rate and the main display, 120 hertz refresh rate. Now you got Gorilla Glass Victus with an aluminum frame and the new flexion hinge. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 with the Adreno 660 GPU. Now, what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro. Flagship specs. Now, you got 12 gigs of RAM, 256 or 512 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now, it's running Android 11 with Color OS 12 skin on top. You got a 4,500 milliamp battery that features 33 watt fast charging. Now, Oppo claims you could charge your phone from zero to 55% in 30 minutes. Now, you also got 15 watt wireless charge and 10 watt reverse wireless charge. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 50 megapixel wide angle, 13 megapixel telephoto, and a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle. On the front, you got a 32 megapixel wide angle lens and you could shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second. Now, you got dual stereo speakers, Bluetooth 5.2, NFC, always on display, face unlock, and a side-mounted fingerprint sensor. All right, so all of that for 1800 bucks. What's missing? There's no IP rating, so the phone is not officially water resistant, even though Oppo claims it does have some water resistance. No official IP rating. Now you got no high refresh rate on the uh, outer display and no stylus support. All right, so let's see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. Calm down. Okay, first things first. Let me say uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, whatever holidays you're celebrating. I hope y'all having a nice time with your friends and your family. Here we go. Oppo Find N. Nice black box. Y'all know I like that. Giggity. Here we go. Now, I hear a lot of people saying that this phone is better than the Galaxy Z Fold 3. But I don't think so. But we're gonna put it to the test, but personally, I don't think so, okay? And here's why. High refresh rate on all of your displays, IP rating, and S Pen support. That's already three pluses that you get over the uh, Oppo Find N, but let's see what it is. Okay, now, when you open this box, it does kind of have a raise up effect. I like that, so it kind of presents you with the phone. Here we go. Now, this is a big boy. I purposely didn't watch any videos on this because I wanted to uh, give y'all my natural reaction. Let's see what it is. Okay. Now, let's do the... Mm. Okay, hold on a second. I didn't smell test on this one. Mm. Mm. Smells like white shoes white. Okay, it does have a unique smell fresh out of the box. I right, shoes, get a whiff of that. Here's my first fold. Okay, now, as far as the folding mechanism, I like it. Okay, I like it. I like it. <laughs> now, it feels a little bit smaller, but I like it. Let's hit that power button real quick. <laughs> so far, I like it, though. Okay. Let's see anything else in the box. I think that's it. This box seems pretty light. I think that's uh, it for the box. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought that was it for the box. We got a USB Type-C charging cable. Okay, USB-A to USB Type-C. I like that. Let me go ahead and leave that in the box. Because um, one of y'all might want to buy this phone eventually. Oh, what is this? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the charger in the box. Now, the phone does have 33-watt fast charging. Samsung, Apple. Pay attention, Google, OnePlus. This is how you do it. Okay, if you're going to advertise 33-watt fast charging and get us all hyped up, Put the charger in the box. I like that. Okay, I like that. So already, uh, I'm feeling this presentation. This is pretty dope. All right, let's go ahead and put that to the side. Let's see, did we power up yet? Okay, or, or already on full screen? 
Let's see what it is. Now, one thing I will say is I do like this outer display. The size, right, the size of the outer display. Let me go ahead and open this up real quick. The size of the outer display. Let's open. Yeah, I like the wider outer display, but it's just a little bit shorter, but it does feel a little bit more manageable. All right, it's easier to rock in your hand. All right, let me say, how do I say that right? It's more pocketable. Is that a real word? Pocketable. This phone is definitely more pocketable. Let me try that hinge again. Okay, now the hinge is dope. The hinge is pretty dope. Pretty dope. Now let's see, do we see any hinge? Wow. Wow. Now, like I said, I purposely haven't watched any videos. I was wondering how is that crease gonna be? But you could barely see that crease. Now let me show y'all just for example. Let's pull up the uh, Galaxy. Let's see, uh, what do we have that's safe to open up? <laughs> okay, let's open up Facebook real quick. Let me just put on uh, put my code in real quick. Hold on a second, y'all. Matter of fact, let me, let me find something else. Uh, what do we have? Twitter. Okay. Here's a Twitter. Now, look, you can see that hinge. You can see it on the Galaxy. It's not too bad, and you do get used to it immediately. But with this phone, you could barely see it. Wow. Well, I'm impressed. I color be impressed. Look for yourself. You can clearly see that hinge. This is basically no hinge. Now, what I am curious is, you do have dual speakers, but both of them on the bottom. I don't know how I feel about that, but we're gonna put it to the test. Let's look around real quick. Matter of fact, let me drop my information in. This way we could breeze through some of the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I've been using the phone for a couple of minutes, and I gotta be honest with y'all, so far, there is one thing that I like better than the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is the outer display. Now, check this out. Let's go to Google search real quick. Look how small the keyboard is on the outer display with this one, and I got big, fat fingers, so trying to type on this is a little bit difficult. Look at this one. Look how big that is, okay? I can easily use this phone with one hand. This is pretty dope. All right, now I'm gonna go through some of the basics. I'm not gonna turn this into a full review. So let's just uh, skim through it real quick. First of all, on the outside, you got your power button, which doubles as a fingerprint sensor. You got your dual speakers, both on the bottom. There's your SIM tray, USB Type-C charging slot. On the top, you got a mic. And on this side, there's your new flexion hinge. Now I will say this, the hinge does feel super sturdy. It gets completely flat, so no wobblage on the table. Okay, nice and flat, I like that. And it feels sturdy. All right, it definitely feels premium. You're gonna love that satisfying feel to the open and close. Now, a couple of different ways you can open up the device. If you notice, you do have always on display, which is fully customizable. You can pick up the phone, use your face unlock. You see how fast that works? Bang, let's do that one more time. Bang, just like that. If you want to, you can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. I just looked at it, oh, let me try not to look at it. Face unlock is really sick on this one. Okay, let's look at it, bang, there it is. So you can use your pad and your pin, or you got the fingerprint sensor built into the side. Now look how fast and smooth that is. Just rest your finger on it, bang. Works every time. Just gotta find it. <laughs> Again, the best part about this phone so far is the wideness on the outer display. I like how this is going. Okay, now ho hopefully Samsung on the next uh, Fold series learn from Oppo, okay? We want it a little bit wider. Although the Samsung does have the higher refresh rate, it is water resistant, okay? And you can use your S Pen. This one is just more natural. You'll find yourself not having to flip it open as much. Okay, now let's run through some of the settings real quick. Like I said, I'm gonna try to make this quick. Let's just go through the basics. Of course, you got all your standard toggles. Let's swipe down. You got your screenshot, screen record. Got your edge vision, power saving mode. All of the goodies. Let's just breeze through this real quick. For connections and sharing, you got VPNs, private DNS. Okay, for your scumbag activities. Let's open this up. Bong, everything resizes by itself. Nice and smooth, very fluid. Let's go to personalization. Let's see, you got wallpapers, always on display. You can change your icons and your quick settings. That's your toggles. 
home screen. Let's see, you can change the layout, change the animation speeds. Got raised to awake, double tap for screen on and off, lock screen magazine, all of the basic stuff. Now I got it on dark mode. Here's your light mode. Okay, let's leave it on light mode for a minute. Matter of fact, now that just kind of hurt my eyeballs. <laughs> Bring it back to dark mode. Like I said, 60 hertz refresh rate on the outer display, 120 hertz refresh rate on the main display. I'll play around with it and see if you feel any difference. Right now, everything feels nice and smooth though. Okay, let's see, uh, order on and off. Okay, you can hide the camera punch hole if you want because you do have punch hole status on the outside and on the main. All right, so outside and main, both punch hole status. Fingerprint sensor, super fast. Let's see, passwords and security. So you got face unlock. You got a fingerprint sensor. You got a smart lock. Anything else? Uh, privacy, battery, power saving mode, super power saving mode. Okay, there's your reverse wireless charging. Take it over to advanced, high performance mode. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Why not? Now, that uses a little bit more battery, but who cares? 1800 bucks. I want full... I want full productivity out of this. Let's see, main screen. Now you do got a bunch of gestures, which I'm gonna learn. So this one, when I do the full review, I'll show you all of the, the pinch and zoom and the split screen, floating windows, all that stuff. Let's see, special features, quick return bubble, smart slider bar, okay? That's kind of like your edge panels. You got your Brino, system settings, okay, gestures and motions, three finger screenshot, touch and hold screenshot, raise to awake, Basically everything. <laughs> let's put it like that. Basically everything. Okay, color, uh, let's see, color version. Color OS V12, real nice. Android 11, this one is 12 gigs of RAM. And let's go to accessibility real quick. Let's go to, where is that? Uh, da, 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 da. Matter of fact, do we even need to check all of that system settings? Let's go to, matter of fact, just in case, let's see if you're hearing or visually impaired. Okay, all of the accessibility features on deck. Now you got your split screen multitasking. One thing I did want to check before we wrap this up, I want to hear these uh, speakers. All right, so let's go to my history real quick. Now this is a video that I'm about to drop. All the links up in the description. Matter of fact, Price let me put something else in real quick. Let me just put something else in. Let's do one of my test videos. Let's see how this sounds. Okay. Now this is max volume on the speakers. If you cover one speaker, other one is still rocking out. Okay. Not the loudest in the world. Let's do a quick side by side because I think the uh, Galaxy speaker is a little bit louder. I think so. Let's just go ahead and pull up that same video. All right, so here's the Galaxy. Top and bottom speakers. Definitely sounds loud. Okay, the Oppo does sound loud too. Let's see, you can hardly notice. Let's see if it sounds more fuller. Okay, now let's quickly grab this one. You can barely notice that both speakers are on the bottom. Not as bad as I thought. Definitely not as bad as I thought. Exit out of that. There's your picture and picture. Let's close this up. Here's on the outside screen. Let's see the transition. Bang, real nice. I like this, I like this. I like this so far. Let's take it over to Instagram real quick. Now, as you notice, so far we don't have the full screen Instagram. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Which there's probably a hack for that. I have to figure it out in a minute. Because if you notice, look at the Instagram on the fold. This is full screen, okay? Take it over to my Instagram where it's safe, okay? Same thing. Now let's see with this one, you can move it over. Okay, so if you want, you can have it more toward the left or more toward the right. I gotta figure out if there's, if there's a way to get full screen because I like that a little bit better. It is what it is. But when I do my full review, we'll do the RDA test and we'll play with everything. We should learn all of the different features, all of the different uh, split screen multitasking tricks. Let's just try something real quick. Go to apple.com. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna have to get my usual Chrome browser, but here's the full website. Now this is full screen, edge to edge. I'm feeling that already. Let's see, uh, let's see if we can open that up. Let's see, split screen. Okay, so we'll do YouTube on one side. All right, shoes. <laughs> All right, so there's uh, split screen multitasking. The speaker does sound pretty good now. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more trash, but it does sound pretty good. Anyway, this is just a quick unboxing. Let me know if y'all think, uh, if y'all wanna see anything specific when I do the full review. But as of right now, the build quality on this. Matter of fact, let's take it to the camera real quick. Let's go to the camera. Let's get a quick shot. Boom. See how the camera looks? Okay. So far, nice pictures. Right out of the gate, though, the best thing that I like about this phone, and it's definitely going to be in my pocket, is the portability. I love how it feels. It's, this is the right size. Should it have been a little bit taller? It could have been. Let's see. Let's close this up. Could it have been a little bit taller? I think it could have definitely been a little bit taller, but they nailed it with the width. The width on this phone is perfect. The open and close mechanism on the hinge. It doesn't feel as tight. It doesn't feel like you got to pry it open. Okay, now, of course, you're not going to get any uh, flipology with this. So no one hand opens. Oh, you, you, you actually can't. Now, look, I don't advise doing that at home, okay? I do not advise doing this type of shit. But, you know, I'm stupid like that, so let me do my thing, but do not do that. So far, so good though. Oh, let me check something real quick. Okay, so you do have always on display on the open version. So if you're leaving your phone on the table like this, real nice. Face unlock. Okay, you do got face unlock on the inside and on the outside. That's a nice touch. So far, the build quality in this phone is excellent. No gap, all right? This is a reverse gap when you close this up now you're not going to accidentally open this okay it's a nice amount of uh magnetization to this once it's closed it's not going to accidentally flip open but this feels like it should be just a regular phone like this and then bang flip it open and you got all of this space this is going to be a lot of fun all right so i'm going to use this phone for a full week i test out all of the positives all of the negatives you put the camera to the test put the battery to the test but I'll, I'll learn all of these uh, gestures and motions, and I'll come back with the full review. Anyway, so far, fresh out of the box, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving this phone a major, major, major go as of right now. Okay, there's not too much I can see that I'm not going to like about it. it uh, on one more thing I want to mention, if you do buy it on eBay, okay, it did have Google. I did have the Google Play Store already pre-installed. And if you notice, I started downloading all of my regular apps, and they do work in English. Okay, so I got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all that stuff on deck. 1800 bucks. Which would I get, though, if I really had to choose? I probably would go with the uh, Galaxy Z Fold 3 because, you know, you're getting more features. It is made for the USA. It is water-resistant, high refresh rate. Y'all see, every time I do my videos, I do use the S Pen on this one. And they really... They really did a great job with this hinge. Now, as far as that gap in the middle, I mean, as far as the um, being able to see that line in the middle, it's not as bad as it looks on video. I'm telling you, when you use these kind of phones, your naked eye will adjust to this so fast, it's, it's going to blow your mind. Like, when you first see it, you'll see that, that, that little line down the middle, you'll see it. But after a couple of seconds of using the phone, you're not going to see it anymore. Okay, it's going gonna, it's gonna to disappear really quickly. Let's pull up something. Uh, what do we got? Facebook? When you're on Facebook, you're not gonna see that line too much. It looks more defined on camera. But this one, no, this is literally no line down the middle, okay? You could barely see that line. Basically, basically you can't see the line. I like that. I like that. Anyway, Oppo Find N, this build quality, whoo! <laughs> this, this phone does look sick. Okay, you already know this is a conversation starter right here. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. And again, happy holidays to you and yours. Now, before I get out of here, let's take a quick look at the camera. Okay, when you open this up, you got your point and shoot, wide angle. Let's see, zoom all the way up to, okay, 20 times zoom. Real nice. Now, when you open it up, 
on. There's your camera. And if you want to, you can fold it like this. This way, you can have your touchpad. Okay, switch different modes and have another table like this. Okay, that's pretty dope. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. Pitch and roll. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. Everybody to subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossie Carter, we know you flossy. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money may all day, the one and only. Flossie Carter, you part of the money team.